Welcome back fellow armchair generals, this is Gamer1745 here with my continuing play of Hearts of Iron 3 with Black Ice and Third Reich events installed. Okay, the main action here of course is in North Africa. I am shipping in a few more divisions. One light division and two panzers. We're a little worried this is going to be retreating into here which means we're going to have to chase it down. Um, but we are closing this. We we're able to outflank and maneuver them, and cutting them into here at El Alamein. A few of you may have heard of El Alamein there. A um, guy named Montgomery of Alamein. Um, because of some battle he fought there. If you ever get a chance to read his book on warfare, it's pretty good that he wrote the covers from earliest, just earliest warfare up until um, his later time. You know, he wrote it. It's a history of warfare and, and analysis. You get an insight into the general. Fairly heavy losses with that unit. Fortunately, we didn't. Fortunately, we didn't lose the unit. Okay, what? I don't think we're going to requisition any more shipping this time, at least. It may have been dangerous to do that, I don't know. Now we have two units in our training now. This pocket of Egypt. Battle of Marsa Mobis. Don't know how many of you recognize these names. Okay, air landing infantry, good. I always like to be able to build more types of units, whether I do or not. I just, you know, if you've later, oops, I need them, and you haven't even achieved the ability to build them, can be a problem. Our support prototype instruments. That's good. I want lots and lots of supplies. That's not nearly enough. So, it'll hurt my production. Keep me from producing some of the stuff that I want, but I feel I need to. This is sort of my vulnerable point here that they're going to be able to attack, which is the. Well, they know they need to. He's behind the river, so he's solid here. 
they're doing okay, especially with the reinforcements of the, the tanks. Hopefully they'll be alright. Additional units and fortresses making them a little bit harder, but I'm going to keep the pressure up for the moment at least. And here, we're going to win very soon. Oh, how are our Norwegians? Norwegian Uprising doing? Take their so-called capital. Okay, good, we got that. I don't think they're going up to here, so we'll try to outrun them. see if we can look into their supplies at all. Okay, they're still fairly well supplied here for the moment. They will run out, but... And I need to put in another supply. Oh boy. Should we get supplies flowing in? Just Africa, of course, close enough to put him under. I eventually would like to, I mean, carrier task force isn't that overly useful, but we will be building carriers eventually, but it's not overly useful. Commerce defense is something I would like, and unrestricted submarine warfare I would like as well, so... forward to what I've heard of uh, Black Ice 8. It seems to be an excellent improvement. Okay, the headquarters has taken a pounding, but hopefully it won't break now that we have Thoma. Oh, Von Thoma is attached way too far away. We won the Battle of Alexandria. Doesn't mean that they're not gonna attack again, but. Like I said, see, I'm worried here that they're coming out. Oh, 
shift to so, so there. So I don't want to flank him. Not that I think they're gonna quote unquote win, I still would just prefer to do this well. So I have greater ambitions than simply taking Egypt. Unless I just yet. Now to spoil their attack. Which does of course leave me a bit open if they try to counterattack. change the nature of that battle.
Now, this is one thing I'm not terribly satisfied with. I don't know what, whether it's black ice or whether it's um, uh, limitations of the parts of Iron 3 engine, but this kind of attack where they're doing 99% into us, but which is bad for for us. Probably just lose. Um, but they're just getting slaughtered in their attack, which now that seems like more reasonable. All this, point. yeah. So it's just that kind of thing. A little bit. Okay, one of their support elements. Well, we don't want them to. as I keep the port closed and to do so I'll send over a couple of light if I do it. Let's send over three. Okay, sonar detection. That is good. Maybe it's just the night, so maybe not paying enough attention to day night shift. Okay, well, they've broken and are retreating. They're going to support the attack. What's the terrain like there? Hills, that's good. This is probably another case of this fortress buster thing that I just... To a degree makes me sick, because, look, um, El Alamein, they, they, they built the fortress here, or the... The defensive line. It was no freaking fortress. It just... It just wasn't. I'm sorry. Um, it should be like this. Just some minor... Little, um... Entrenchments to help out. I'm not saying it shouldn't. There shouldn't be entrenchments. I'm not saying there shouldn't be some level of fortress. But this idea that it should you know, they can take all this out to me is just inappropriate.
not going to be doing that right now because we're not going into Operation Barbarossa at this time. I know they're trying to deal with bad AIs. I get that. I get that. How are you doing if there's good AIs? We still have problems. I sent them up here to recuperate. This is luck. You need to have enough um, airport infrastructure to properly repair the things. It's quite reasonable an idea. But you can, you know, overstress the airfields if you wish to operate temporarily. to cut these guys off because if I didn't um, they would simply just keep feeding out this way so I tried to time it well when I could. They're doing fairly well there so I'm going to move there. So a little mini pocket here that will I don't think they can trace, get any supplies from Iraq, so they're still cut off from the port, so they're li on a limited supply budget here.
Support the attack. Just to gain experience and pressure quicker. I don't think they can trace supply down into here, but maybe they can. Let's see if we can see any supply in here. You know, I know there was at one time a um, infrastructure. Probably there still is. So I think they're still locked in. I think. They can't trace any supply, so I hope not. Still not yet, not until I get more connections to the region I'm going to. Deal with I'm trying to import something from Iran. That reminds me. I sent some traders up there. Oh, actually, I'm not done still. How 
you doing? Okay. See, we're taking two, one, one, one. Small numbers, but that's got to be hurting them. And we're getting two, three, one, two, there, and down here. Three, one, two, one, one, one. So we're hurting and spreading out their ability to to interdict us. The Italians are going after these guys. It's good. No. Here, let's. Giants have stopped advancing because they've run out of their territory to I know this doesn't grow Italy much stronger. But we have to look at it as Italy is no longer facing this front. I mean, they still have the very wicked front um, up here of the Swiss. You know, I mean, you got to watch out for the Swiss. So we've closed off a lot of the um, potential um, invasion capabilities. Obviously, we still have the Americans coming in later, likely. Escort ship damage control systems have improved. Yeah, we'll get to do that. It's all going to be for this. I just don't want to overly. So the Italians have showed up here, have they? Oh, interesting. Okay, Mexico, no, we don't want to do that. The USS Hornet is launched. Okay, capture British equipment. Valair Brigade, yes. Good. Refit old French tanks. Excellent. Norge SS, yes, up here. This obviously currently we have 
that, um, Munsell actually dies in a key. Was up, to, and I know this because I researched for this um, event chain. I didn't just know it. Um, he was in command up there, but traveled down at Hamburg, Ham, you know, Hamburg, um, Hanover, somewhere. I forget where. I thought it starts with an H, but some where um, about this time gets uh, caught in a bombing raid and British bombing night bombing raid and dies. So, sort of good, yeah. But so yes, excellent. So we will. That should go away. Okay. The Serbians, cool. Now we're getting some of the events from uh, GGA. Gives us all. Oh deal with it shortly, but, um, more detail. You know, revolt risk. Okay, we want to keep the supplies open. Low. to garrisoning this down here. Here's our captured British equipment. We'll let them reinforce up. These are from the Becker events. Okay, so we have light armor, 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 motorized artillery, and tank destroyers. Those are good, but what we're going to need to do here is build some stuff. Okay, um, build for the future here. I'm not going to do full motorized infantry, we just don't need it for speed. We're going to be semi-motorized. We're going to put in a headquarters because we want to properly get the combined arms bonuses of it. And we're going to throw in motorcycle reconnaissance. That is going to be 10, but if we remove that, it's just 9.5, so we'll just go with this. We need three of these. Now the goal is to get these onto the field um, well before America decides to do its likely scripted invasions in 1944. So, what we'll do is send these guys here. I put them there off camera a while ago, and I just wait for them to get uh, properly organized up, because you just send them out as disorganized forces, they won't do so well.
So you, and there'll be a string because two of them are envoy rating. A pair I'm sending down to then send out even further here, but I don't forget them and have them out there too long. And they will. And so the British scene, the AI seems to see spot sink sink sink. Send in um, some anti-submarine units if they ha still have them operating, and then follow them along, but with them splitting like that, hopefully they won't follow well. Let's see, two, 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 minus one, three, three. We've got to be make hurting them and making them produce fewer and fewer over here because they're running out of supplies to the forces to go send there. They've got to be building replacements or they will be sunk. Huh. Fun. You can use like I have in the past and I am using the Paris to help deal with the retreating forces but they are slow in this terrain. And they're sort of expensive forces in that. They have better uses elsewhere. We will see that shortly, but I want to make sure this crisis, shall we say, is dealt with. Okay, how's this battle going? Good. We're relatively better organized against a that's sort of why I'm sending these guys down here, because these guys can continue to fight. Um, disorganized, unsupplied troops. Ah, oh, yes. Air Force of the Independent State of Croatia. We will give them some outdated aircraft. That's good. A little special. All right, we'll do this. Kaiser Wilhelm II has passed away. We gained a little too much of a second from the rocket. Okay, I think we're going to call it an end to this episode. It's been very interesting and fun. I hope you're enjoying it. Um, we're going to keep with our conquest of Egypt here for a while.